the media took over something called psychology. You see, there were thinkers and healers and philosophers and people who cared about humankind who were asking questions about why do we act the way we do? Why do we hurt ourselves so much? Why do we hurt each other? There were people not so long ago and a long time ago to ask questions that if an answer could be reached, it could help humankind. That is the realm of psychology. But unfortunately, the media and business took that psychology and started using it against the us. The news would show our fears because the news knows it will follow our fears in order to keep ourselves safe. And so because they want our eyes so desperately, they will flash our fears in front of us again and again. Business and again. has used our psychology against us so that we will want to buy their products. This has all been accepted because people have to have jobs in order to live. They have to make money in order to have a house. They have to have money in order to have privacy. They have to have money in order to have a consistent source of water. In order they have to have money to survive. And that is what people were doing for a while. Making money in order to have enough. And once they had enough, they had to deal with their families. And so everybody was all into each other's business and it was dysfunctional and it was uncomfortable because everyone was comfortable enough to have to be around one another and not working to survive, survive all the time. And then the media came along and for better or for worse, or shall I say for better and for worse, they started showing us all of our fears all of our desires, all of our cravings. And they started selling them to us one by one. And so we would work harder so we could have more. And as we interacted with the things that we wanted, that we coveted, especially in the technological information age, we started isolating ourselves. That's what we're doing now. We're isolating ourselves into ourselves in this world of media that reflects back to us our fears. And in all of that, as we look out into the world, we're really just looking for ourselves. And so in many ways, in our search, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing ourselves amplified to match the height of our fear, the media and business, they're not realizing that they've taken it too far. It wasn't their intention, but it's what's happened and now they are afraid. The people who created this matrix realize that it is out of control. That's why we all got to stay real calm and figure this one out moment by moment. Letting go of the past, letting go of the future, letting go of right and wrong and the duality of everything, letting it go so we can see what is real which is that people have a right to eat. People have a right to shelter. People have a right 
for water. And people have a right to be creative. And if we weren't so preoccupied with making money in order to have these things, we would be very different. And I think one day we will be that. In the meantime, it's time for everybody to get real serious about what they live for and what they die for and what they work for. Make that mean something. What are you living for? What, what are you working for? And make sure that whatever you are living for or working towards or working for, make sure that it's in betterment of humanity. And if you see where it's not, talk about it, point it out, because anything that's working against humanity, there are other solutions. But there has to be dialogue. We're too set in one way of thinking and one way of doing things. That's how the world is. That's how we are as individuals until we wake up. And so we must wake up individually now so that we can continue to sort of spread the awareness in these crazy times. Let's cut out the melodrama so we can wake up the whole wide world. Let's make up and start all over and awaken the boys and the girls.